Well, this is an interesting article on Site.org about this potentially hazardous asteroid that is doing a very close approach to Earth on February the 17th and they're labeling this asteroid 2000 EM26. Now it's going on to say that the asteroid has a diameter of about three football fields which equates to 270 meters and it's traveling at approximately 27,000 miles per hour or 12.37 kilometers per second. And they're also reminding that on the 15th of February last year was the same time that the asteroid exploded above Russia and caused quite a bit of significant damage and quite a lot of injuries. And so last year on the 15th of February 2013, a potentially hazardous asteroid actually became hazardous and so I decided that I would have a look at spaceweather.com to see if it was listed because I know that spaceweather.com lists near earth objects and yes indeed we have 2000 EM26 listed on the near earth objects okay 2000 em 26 2000 em 26 now they're listed here at february the 18th and they're looking at a lunar distance of 8.8 .8, and they're saying that it's about 195 meters in diameter now what i found interesting is that on february the 20th we have another close asteroid and this one is actually 4.4 lunar distances so even closer now it is smaller 71 meters but i do find it interesting that they haven't mentioned it in this article now the other interesting thing i wanted to bring your attention to on spaceweather.com is that we have Dr. Tony Phillips forecasting that there is a 75% chance of polar geomagnetic storms on February the 15th because he is saying that we have this cannibal CME where we have three incoming CMEs that have merged together starting from the 11th and they are now going to hit us on February the 15th and we are going to have geomagnetic storms. 75% chance. So quite a large chance of these cannibal CMEs causing geomagnetic storms and geomagnetic resonance on our planet. Well, I'm actually looking at the solar data and the geomagnetic resonance has not really shown anywhere that this triple cannibal CME that Tony Phillips continues to postulate has actually eventuated. And I find it interesting how Dr. Tony Phillips seems to be able to wear the magical white coat and even though his cannibal CME never actually eventuated the first time he postulated this theory, it still seems like we need to take what Tony Phillips says here in relation to this cannibal CME as fact. So I find that very interesting as well. But I will actually withhold my conclusion until I have seen this play out in the data for myself. And since I did not see it play out last time that Dr. Dr. Tony Phillips postulated this cannibal CME. I am reluctant to actually accept that theory until I actually do see it in the data. Anyway, I will post all of these articles underneath and you can check them out. And as always, peace out.